How do I calculate and plot residuals in PASCO capstone? I'm going to use this sample temperature versus time data that I collected from a temperature sensor, and I'm going to apply a linear fit. I can see the linear fit parameters presented here. Now, the challenge is to determine the difference for each temperature data point between its temperature and the corresponding point on this linear fit, that is the residuals. In this case, the first step is to create an actual data set from this linear fit. To do that, I'm going to go to the calculator and create a new calculation. I'm going to abbreviate it lin fit temp, and this will be based on the parameters of my linear fit, which are m, which is 0 0.178 times the x-axis variable. I'm going to use the same abbreviation as in the fit, t, plus b, which is 23.2 and I'm going to give this the units of temperature, right click, degrees, C. Now, since I used a variable in my definition, Capstone's calculator asks me to define that variable. In this case, if the x-axis were something like another measurement, say volume, I could simply put those measurements into this equation. But since it's time, we need to treat it something uh, somewhat special. In this example, I need a data set which are all of the times for the temperature measurements. There's a special function that will do this in the calculator. It's under special, time of, and I simply need to take the time of the temperature measurements. And these will be returned in seconds. All right, so now that I've created that data set, let me add a column to my table showing the lin fit temps. And I will also add it to my graph by going to the y-axis measurement, clicking on it, and choosing to add a similar measurement, lin fit temp. All right, I'll scale that, turn off the fit here, and we can see that the blue data points from the temperature sensor are still there, and I have created a data set in green which corresponds to the linear fit. So the next step is to determine the differences between the blue points and the green points. To do that, we'll return to the calculator, and I'm going to call this residuals temp, and this is simply going to be the temperature measurements minus the lin fit temps. And this will be reported in degrees Celsius, so I'll define those units as degrees C. Okay, let me add yet another column to my table for the residuals. Those are the temperature residuals, and I'm going to add a new plot area to the graph to show those. So I'll go up here to add new plot area, and for this plot area's y-axis measurement, I'm going to choose that calculation residuals temp. So this shows that my data was below the fit line on the left, above it in the center, and below it to the right.